What is up, you cheeky mother hubbards? Guys, how are we doing this? What is it? Thursday afternoon. Um, I thought I'd talk for a minute about this Evening Standard front cover, which presumably, I haven't got a copy of the actual newspaper here, but presumably it taps into the tanking birth rate um, that we're experiencing in London, in the home counties, across the UK, actually. People are just generally not having children or certainly not having them in the quantities that they used to. And this is a particular area of interest for me. I don't suppose this video will be particularly um, funny or satirical. Uh, it's just something that's on my mind quite a lot that I, w I wanted to talk about. Um, so first off, let's establish what the state of affairs is. Uh, people are not having babies. That could be due to a wide array of reasons, really. Um, women have more choices, more options these days in terms of how they want to live their lives. They're not just seen as soulless incubators for your firstborn son. Um, but also the cost of having a baby now is astronomical. You know, childcare, the cost of upsizing your house. Um, these are things that historically, traditionally, uh, you know, if you're a baby boomer um, or one of the older generations, you probably would not have been met with the same astronomical cost of like buying a family home, which you used to be able to do on just one income, on one working class income. Now you need two incomes plus a sack of cash from your parents, from both sets of parents, perhaps. Um, also, you know, back in the day, there was like socialized childcare, right? Really uh, important to emphasize that, that there was there was just better childcare options. You know, having a nanny or an au pair in the 80s and 90s was something that was open to like middle class families. That Those days have gone, you know, people just they couldn't dream of hiring in full time help for you and your wife to raise a kid and change nappies and babysit and all of that. That's just gone. Uh, but also the cost of, you know, just a child minder or the local nursery was way more affordable. Um, but also I think it's worth uh, exploring the idea of, uh, and I, I hesitate to say this because I know I'm probably going to catch some flack for it, but what role feminism has, has played in this? Um, because this is not, you know, the, the tumbling uh, birth rate is not something that is exclusive to the UK. I know I like to rag on um, the government, on the Tories, and probably on Labour. Like, once they get in power, if they don't do anything to make uh, childcare a bit more affordable uh, or fix the housing crisis, which, you know, I've alluded to is, is also a big concern. Um, you know, we, we, there's a trap that you can sort of fall into into thinking in, in terms of thinking that this is just a UK specific issue. But it's not, you know, all across the Western world, the birth rate is tumbling. And when I say, you know, what role has feminism played in this? I, I mean, since the 1950s, women have decade on decade uh, had more and more rights, more and more opportunities. And I know that there's still a long way for society to go in terms of like recognizing true equality and equality of opportunity for them and, and certainly you know safety <laughs> and uh, and respect um, across society is a long way to go but in terms of employment and giving women the right to work and taking them more seriously in the workplace you know there has been a lot of progress made and in having that progress we also need to recognise that the idea of holding back and having babies in your 20s or 30s and decimating that career, that there's a knock-on effect to that, right? Which is that women then have babies later. It's harder to have them the older you get. Um, and now with all these other contributing factors, the housing crisis, the cost of childcare, etc., it's just becoming harder and harder for people to des to decide to have a baby like d can we really afford this <laughs> is your mom gonna help us out no okay well then i guess we can't do it because i'm not just killing my career and hold it and then what we're, we're going to be impoverished are we <laughs> you know there's these sorts of conversations that have all contributed to this tumbling birth rate um i mean i don't know how anyone could afford to have a kid if you're just an average couple in London and you 
love each other and you live in like a one bed flat which is what like 1600 a month probably thereabouts plus all your bills just to exist in london with that sort of money and then you've got to save money you're probably saving money for a mortgage or something as well right so just the financial burden of existing in london on an average salary to then say we're going to have a baby and your income will just vanish overnight <laughs> so now i as the man traditionally uh, now i'm going to be expected to pay for everything that's going to put pressure but you also want to upsize and get a house how are you affording to do that in london so it's absolutely no mystery to me that there would be an impact on on the birth rate um and of course it doesn't help then also you've got other factors like climate change you know the world is becoming increasingly less stable more volatile i imagine there's an awful lot of you know younger younger people who tend to lean more left politically in that demographic who do who are more conscious about these things like do we really want to bring in new life <laughs> into the world when it's this unstable and it honestly feels like we're this doomed <laughs> Like, I mean, it's one thing to sort of sit back, roll yourself a bifter, you know, knock back a beer um, and just see the whole thing go down the toilet. But it's a completely other different new experience when you know that you're responsible for little ones and to worry about what this world is going to turn into for them. Like, I could also totally imagine younger couples going, we should not have children. This world is just too messed up, you know? So, and and then the final thing is, you know, we've had 14 years of conservative government of people banging down the door at them saying, like, could you please look at childcare, at the housing crisis, at the cost of bills? Can you just help young people do something? <laughs> Can you just help us? And at every single juncture, various conservative administrations have just been like, no. No, we're going to make it harder for you to vote. We're going to make it more expensive for you to have kids. And if you come to complain to us about it, we're just going to dismiss you and disparage you and tell you to work harder, stop complaining, don't buy so many avocados and Netflix, etc., etc. At every single possible point where they could have helped young people to have more babies, they've pulled up the drawbridge and said, no, go fuck yourself. Um, it's your own fault. If you can't have kids, if you can't afford to have kids, don't have them, etc., etc. So I don't know why anyone uh, would ever be surprised that London's birth rate is tumbling. Um, anyway, these these are my thoughts. Um, let me know what you guys think. Are you shocked that the birth rate in London is going down <laughs> or even across the UK? I think in any nation where you've had women's rights, you've given them greater opportunity uh, and things to explore, you've made their lives more interesting, then you have had this knock-on effect where it's like, you're going to have a tumbling birth rate. Um, now, what do you do about that? I, I don't know. You either invite immigrants in who will then have babies or will be younger and they can plug the skills gap, right? You can have that or you can have uh, socialized childcare. You can make it easier for young people who do have jobs, who are exploring greater opportunity. You can make it easier for them with socialized childcare. So I, get, I think that's what I'm saying is you can either have socialized childcare or immigrants. <laughs> Those are your options. And unfortunately for a quote-unquote conservative country i know they like to wheel that one out uh for a country that has an awful lot of express readers and mail readers and deluded ignorant right-wingers who hate socialized child care oh, it's not the state's role to raise your children unfortunately for a country that is just awash with people like that they hate the idea of socialized child care <laughs> and they hate immigrants <laughs> but you i'm sorry you have to pick one um Anyway, yeah, they're, they're my thoughts. What do you guys think?